Hey coach, well, I'm so happy you found us on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell up above. We put out content just about every day. Also, go down below and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking to become a better basketball coach, you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for resources, teachhoops.com is the answer for you. Go over and check it out and have a great day. Here we go. All right. Welcome to High School Hoops. This this is a great topic. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to, Give our shout out to our sponsors first before we talk about this. I'm in this one right now. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, make sure you go over and check out Dr. Dish, the number one shooting machine on the market. You know, they have the home version. They have the IC3, which you don't get the discount from Coach Collins, but if you tell them, they'll give you a really good deal. Um, and then they got the, um, you got the, both the trainer one. And then the, there's like three versions of like CT and all those ones are trainers. And it's, yeah, it's the best on the market. I'm just telling you right now, it's the, I, I, it's the Tesla of, of shooting machines. I don't it know. Is. If and it, yeah. yeah. Easy to use, easy to put down. More compact, simple, more compact, simple less, to use. Less space to put away. Yep. Mention coach unplugged and you'll get, uh, and our high school hoops or coach Collins or basketball me, uh, you'll get $400 off. Also go over and check out teach hoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Um, it is the one-stop shop. It has got everything and probably more than you would ever need to coach a basketball team. If you're a youth coach and you're, you're in your youth season, you're probably revving up right now and you're going, Oh my God, my next six weekends are going to be in, x y and z and a gym eating hot dogs and popcorn i remember those days uh go over and check out coachingyouthhoops.com if it's not up there'll be a waiting list i'm hoping by the time this goes up it will be up there um and come join that community and learn everything you need to become a youth basketball coach and rock your daughter or son and tell them that you're the best coach since coach k um, I'll give a big shout out to Hoopsalytics too. I haven't talked about them in a couple of weeks. Hoopsalytics.com backslash teach. Get 25% off. All of you should buy it. It is the um, it is the version of breaking film down that is affordable, that's easy to use, and give you every analytic you ever could possibly need. All right, so go over and check it out. Topic. <laughs> Eliminate the it panic like you were, mode. Yeah, you were sounding like you were panicking when you were trying to do your advertising. Oh topic. my gosh. I am like, so the, the topic this week is eliminate panic mode. So at this point, it's too late. It's just the it, you can see you can see the, the 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 starter with the gun ready to go, ready, set. So I I should know better after 35 years not to panic every year it's like the first year of school it's the first day of school coach you always panic always get it. nervous even after I'm i don't get nervous. nervous i don't get nervous anymore oh you get nervous of course oh, i never get nervous you, you teach ap stats your kids know what they need to do when they come in you know you do, when you're in second grade you just you know they forget how to sharpen a pencil they forget how to use their scissors <laughs> no they don't they don't know how to use their scissors <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making it up. I don't know. You know, where they turn in their work, they, they got to do a lot of routines. It's very, it's a panic mode early on. I'm in a panic mode. You know, your kids. Coach, coach works, coach works in, in uh, Milwaukee. Yeah. There never has enough resources. So again, talking about Abbott elementary. So we had another reason to go t join teach com Cause you'll help coach too, because then I'll donate to his, to yeah. his, uh, to his thing. Do. What have I bought so far? Uh, seat cushions, books. I don't remember something. There else. was something else recently. What was your most recent one? It wasn't seat cushions. What was your most recent one? There was something else. I don't know. There's an app that he basically, he puts his hand out and says, I need something. Basically, Donors choose, it's, yeah. called. it's called what? Donors choose. And then how does that, where does that money go? Does it go to your office and then they buy it for you? How does that work? So basically how Donors Choose works is you create a project through several different companies that you can pick and you create a cart and then Donors Choose helps market it and basically um, get donations through, they'll, they'll have like a lot of people like- How does Donors, how do they make their money? I think by like, they would basically make like a short little fee based on if a project is funded. Okay. It's not an it's not an insane amount of money. It's very it's very, 
what they do is incredible. Uh, so I, I speak highly of them. Um, <clears throat> but like then they support you if something doesn't work. So like you get a shipment in from say Amazon off your project and something breaks, they'll help you get that fixed or get that. They do all the middle work after the project is funded too. Um, and then they help you create thank you letters and um, you know, you have to show pick photos and stuff of like your class of um, doing things. So like they really help you navigate the whole process. And then they're in touch with so many other foundations and corporate sponsors where they help find projects or send your stuff off to other people to help fundraise so like it's pretty cool that's very cool oh man the amount of money i've saved out of my own pocket because of donors choosing the i know because that's what people don't understand people are listening to this are probably high school coaches so they understand but the amount of money i could buy a small island for the amount of money i've put in towards students and (laughs) it's like it's like oh my gosh Anyway, um, all right. So, can you define panic mode? Is it's the four panic weeks- is feeling like you're not ready. Panic is what? feeling like how you're many not- weeks? How many weeks do you have to the season? Three, four around that month before the season. Yeah, starts? like I, th- it feels like I don't know what I'm gonna run. I don't know if we're gonna be any good. I don't know. I think there's several panics. I think there's X and O and administrative <laughs> panic, and there's also panic like, ooh, are we gonna be any good? Did all the work pay off in the summer and the off season? Um, I think it's a lot of those things. Um, and, and to be honest with you, take three deep breaths and it will be fine. Like, um, I was telling a student the other day, how do you eat an elephant? And they, and he turns to me, he goes, you don't eat an elephant. I go, well, yeah, you don't. But if you would eat an elephant, you eat it one bite at a time, right? It's a big thing. You don't, you can't eat the whole thing at once. So it's one bite at a time. You need so, a nap today, I'm telling you. <laughs> I do need a nap. But it's true. I'm going to take a nap when we're done here. I can tell uh, you, you need a nappy nap, dude. I do. I, I, I'm usually like the Energizer Bunny. But like I yesterday, was, yesterday I, I got inducted into the Hall of Fame, and then I had a couple of drinks with my coaches, and it was not <laughs> good. And I don't drink. So I'm struggling today. Um, I made, I didn't, I made the, we made plans for this before that happened. So it's like, I couldn't back, I don't back out of things. No, you um, got this. You're good. I'm good. But anyway, don't panic. Don't panic. Um, I, I mean, here, what's your I, feeling on it, coach? I think if you can generate a list of things that you're panicking about or things that need to get done, there are some things that you have full control of and there uh, are yeah. some things you cannot take in care of. If your offense, you don't know about the perfect offense, you're going to figure that out as the season goes on, how to make adjustments. But if you have logistical things or things that you know you can take care of, try to conquer those first because you have full control of them. There are some things that you don't have. I hope my kids are constantly taking care of themselves. I hope that they're doing well in school. You can tell them to do that. But in the end, some of those things are out of your control and you have to be real with that. But I think it's really important that if you make a list and there's certain things that you can either delegate or accomplish and you can take control of, that will help eliminate the stress a little bit more. No, I think that's a great, like, I'm a list person. You see my office. So I. I've, I've, yep. I have, I have post-its everywhere. Yeah, yeah, um, I, yeah. I make lists all the time. Like when I do assessments or things I need to do. And, and to be honest with you, I just want to check it off. I want to be yep. done. Like I got to yeah. talk to this person. And I, I think, talk to this person. I think yeah. accomplishing tasks for people that panic is it helps them feel better. And yes. I think also you also have to start looking at what are things that you can't control and you just have to take a deep breath and understand there's only so much you can do as a, one person. And there's some things that you're not going to be able to control. And that's real. Take the things you can control and understand there's some things you won't be able to control. You know me, like I'm crazy. Like I, it's 13 podcasts a week. I run right. a biz, I run a business. I coach a team. i I teach five classes a day. You're it's still like, married and you have two kids. I'm still married and have two kids. The lake like, house. <laughs> the lake, yeah. So it's like, it's crazy land. Like I have literally, there is not a point in the day that I don't have something to do ever. Like probably four things to do, but I still got to go like, okay, I'm going to do this now. Like, I'm like literally when we get off this, I'm going to go take a nap. That's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to wake up, get something to eat probably. And then I'm going to grade some papers and then I'm going to like, I, I just like, I know all these things have to get, if I thought about everything I had to do every day, I would never get out of bed ever. Like, so 
<laughs> yeah. you I, mean, I won't be able to breathe. I would be like, but I, but I just like 97% of it will still be there. Right. I mean, the grades are still going to be the things I got a grade are still going to be there. Like now there's things like I, I had a sponsor call last couple of weeks ago. Um, that, that call had to happen at that time. I get it. There are things that are like, I have to go teach second hour at this specific time, but for the most part, it's like, okay, what am I doing? Like, what do I got? Like I got, all right. I want to, do I have my YouTube channel updated? Do I have my, you know, email updated? Do I have my podcast done? Do I, so I'm just talking about my regular life. So when you throw now, now throw a whole entire basketball season and program in it, it's like, holy crap. But like you said, and maybe this was in the pre that you got to delegate, like you got to like, I mean, that's what I'm doing to one of my younger coaches right now. I'm delegating to him because hopefully at some point he'll, he'll be able to take over. So, you know, he, he's going to run some of this stuff and do it because that's, he can't like, I, like today, like we're doing this on a Sunday. We're filming this one on Sunday. There's youth tryouts this morning. I'm not going. Um, I'm letting him go to trials. I'm letting him help run them. I'm helping let him and one of my assistants is help evaluating it because that's important. I don't need to be there for this. Um, could I be? Yes. Could I jump in my car and get there in seven minutes? Yep. But I think it's important for him to do it. It's not that I don't want to do it. Not that I can't do it. Um, I was up, I could have done it, but it's important for him to do it. So it's like that delegation I think is important too. Really. Yeah, and, and then understanding that, what you can and can't control and you, you can't make a huge list and say you're going to do it all at once either you gotta you gotta do it in, in pieces you know it's yeah like the, yeah it's like so the, break it down it's the elephant the whole elephant yeah okay it's the elephant thing <laughs> but don't panic what i'm telling you don't panic and if you are panicked and need someone to talk to come over and join us at teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better or coaching youthhoops.com <laughs> come over we'll help i'll help it is I'm time gonna, for you to take a nap, Steve. I got a 730 meeting tonight with Teach Hoops members. So, you know, if you want to definitely need to take a nap. So you're ready for that. I do. I do. I do tonight. I definitely do. All right, coach. Till next week. All right, thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching, coach. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on. But you will not be disappointed with teachhoops.com. 14-day free trial. Let's go check it out. Have a great day.